This morning we're looking at mental health reform. It's an umbrella body representing the community and voluntary sector working in the area. It's holding its first meeting of 2013 this afternoon and I'm joined now by the director of the organisation, Orla Barry. Orla, thanks very much indeed for coming in this morning. Sure. Can, you, can you tell me the purpose of today's meeting first off? Okay, um, mental health reform, we, we hold about four public meetings every year and the, the, the purpose of those meetings is to hear from people around the country what their experience is of their local mental health services, what's working well and what needs to change. Now it's also an opportunity for us to educate um, the public as to what they should expect from a mental health service and I think in this it's one of the things that's happening, the stage that we are in the improvement of our mental health services is that there's huge inconsistency around the country and the service you might um, receive in one area um, that da a mile down the road it might be quite different in terms of of just but, but but not so much necessarily the quality but the actual style and ethos of that service okay so kind of an information gathering and dissemination event both. and can I ask you Orla I mean it seems to me that mental health has really moved up the agenda you hear an awful lot more about it now than you did maybe a couple of years ago is this because more people are suffering mental health problems due to the economic situation or is it that we're diagnosing it more effectively I think, I think it's a couple of things, Keelan. Um, number one, that the actual, our, our mental health services are long over, overdue an overhaul. So that the, the, we were in a process of change anyway to do with the implementation of a vision for change, the national policy. So that movement from a hospital based to a community based service is something that, that, that is happening and is certainly getting the news. Now I think also that the, the, the as you describe it, that, that there are very few people in Ireland today that aren't in some way stressed by, by what's happening um, in the country. So that people's awareness of, of their own m mental health and emotional um, issues, but also um, an understanding, a greater understanding of, of the impact on, of, of mental health on people's lives, I think is certainly coming to the fore. And Orla, I mean, mental health has really been seen for, for many years as the Cinderella of the health services. Yes. It's the first place they seem to go to to get money when they run short. Is it as bad or is it getting any better in terms of funding? No, I think certainly the, the government has committed 35 million for three years as, as part of the programme for government. That's been very slow to, to, to deliver in terms of the development of community teams. Um, certainly that needs to, to continue to happen. But that what also needs to happen alongside that is, is what we would talk about as being the cultural change that needs to occur. I think key in, in terms of mental health services is an area where, particularly if people have an ongoing mental health difficulty, that their relationship with their mental health team is hugely important. So the manner in which those relationships happen in, in, in terms of the respect that's given to people and um, the, the, the amount of control that people have over their own treatment is, is key. And within and that... And is that changing, that kind of culture? Are people it's, being it's given It's slow to role? change. And I think the, the, um, the, the, the idea, the concept of recovery is one that's used internationally to actually describe that change. And it really is about a, a change in the power relationship between the people who are using the services and the service providers. And that our meeting today, one of the things that we're talking about this year is what it is that people should expect from a mental health service. And key to that is that what do we actually mean by recovery? The, the, one of the, the, the things that we have heard across the last number of years um, from people across the country is, is a key message is that people want to be listened to. They actually really want their, their opinions to be taken into consideration in terms of the manner in which the mental health services are engaging with them. They want Rather an than offer, just getting a prescription. Absolutely. Or a, yeah. And that they want an offer of more than medication and they want a consistent relationship with a professional. So that, that for us as, as mental health reform, it's, it, it's, it's for us how do we take those messages and translate them then into um, policy or into policy positions that we will put to the HSE and that we will put to government about what a mental health service should be. And okay. the, the, so that a big one for us this year is about recovery what it is that recovery means in terms of the influence on, on how services should be delivered. OK, great. And Orla, where is that meeting today and what it's time? It's happening at the Carmelite Centre in Angel Street at 2 o'clock. And it's open to the public? In, open to the public. And we will have three other meetings this year. Later this month, uh, we'll have one in Wexford, uh, we'll have one in Castle Bar next month and another one in North Dublin. OK, well, listen, Orla Barry, thank you very much indeed for coming in this morning. Thank you, Gillian.